What's up everyone, it's me Tracy. Thank you all so much for clicking on the video. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about four reasons why you might not wanna start jujitsu. That doesn't necessarily mean ever, that just means at this time. I know in the last video I said I did five reasons, but honestly, I couldn't think of five reasons to not start jujitsu. And the four that I did think of are kinda iffy. So take that with a grain of salt. Hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to like it and subscribe if you wanna see more videos. The first reason, the first reason that you might not wanna do jujitsu is, and this seems like a silly one, but you can't handle losing, okay? Uh, the thing that I tell all of my new students starting, especially when they look a little discouraged, is that, you know, for the first six months, you're gonna lose a lot. You're not gonna get submissions. You're not gonna get sweeps. You're not gonna dominate rounds even against other white belts. It's just not gonna happen. And that's because the people you're rolling with, the people you're training with, know the same moves you know. And oftentimes they know more. So the odds of you imposing your will, imposing your game on someone that's been doing jiu-jitsu the same as or as long as you is pretty low. So one reason you might not want to do jiu-jitsu or start jiu-jitsu is that you can't handle losing. If you can't humble yourself and accept the reality that you're gonna get tapped by people way older than you, kids sometimes, girls, uh, people way smaller than you, it's gonna happen and if you can't handle that reality, if you can't deal with that uh, in a constructive way and understand that you know it takes time to learn, you probably shouldn't start jujitsu. The second reason that you might not wanna start jujitsu is health issues. So there are a couple parts of your body that are very important for jiu-jitsu, one of which is your hips. Your hips are used in almost every single position in jiu-jitsu to some degree. So if you're thinking about starting jiu-jitsu and you've had significant hip issues, for example, like a hip replacement, it's probably not a good idea to start jiu-jitsu. Or if you do start jiu-jitsu and you've had that happen or you've had a hip replacement in the past, it would be a good idea to consult with like a physician or a physical therapist or a doctor, someone who can tell you, you know, the kind of wear and tear that your hip can take. That's not to say that you can't do jujitsu if you've had a hip replacement or if you have had hip issues, but you need to be extra careful. Same thing is true of fingers uh, to a lesser extent. In gi jujitsu, you use your hands and fingers a lot. Um, and, you know, if you're a guitarist or a pianist or a musician or an artist, someone that uses their hands a lot. Keep in mind there is some significant uh, uh, damage to the hands and fingers and that's something you've got to consider. Um, though you can manage it just fine if you want to train, if I mean, odds are you're going to be just fine. Number three reason why you might want to hold off on starting Jiu Jitsu, not that you shouldn't start it at all at some point, but you might need to hold off a little bit. If you can't make a serious time commitment, uh, to being in the gym training. What I tell most of my students is, it doesn't matter how often you train per week, it matters that you're consistent. So training five times in one week, not coming back for three weeks and then training twice that week, it's not gonna help your progression in jiu-jitsu because you're not gonna learn all the different positions. Um, so if you can't commit to going to, you know, I recommend two or three classes per week, but even one class a week is enough to learn like the fundamentals because you're gonna get experience in multiple positions. If you can't commit to a consistent time frame of training and being in the gym, it might be a good idea to hold off, rearrange your schedule, change your work schedule, uh, look at different options or different gyms with different schedules to make sure that you are able to get the full value out of your registration and out of the gym that you're signing up to. The fourth reason why you definitely wouldn't want to start jujitsu is more so if you've tested out jujitsu and you're getting a weird vibe from the gym. If it's super dirty, if the people are unfriendly, or if they're explosive and dangerous, or if you feel like you're gonna get hurt, do not start jujitsu at that gym. Take the extra time to find a gym that you're comfortable at, whether it's the people that are interacting with you, whether it's the facility and how like, maintained it is. Uh, make sure that you are comfortable at your gym, because if you're not comfortable at your gym, for any of the reasons that I just mentioned, you're not gonna wanna go. And if you don't want to go, you're not gonna go and you're never gonna get better. It goes back to the consistency thing that I talked about earlier, is you need to be consistent. And for any of those reasons that I mentioned, if you're uncomfortable, that's not the right gym for you. 
One thing I'd like to mention, I know this video is reasons that you wouldn't want to do jujitsu, but ultimately this list was hard to come up with. The reasons I mentioned can all be overcome and really jujitsu has been a huge benefit in my life. The pros greatly outweigh the cons and so if you're on the fence about signing up for jujitsu or trying a class or trying a week free, try it. I mentioned the reasons why you'd want to sign up for jujitsu in the previous video. Check it out. There should be a a thing up there. I'm gonna put a little info card, so click it if you haven't seen the video yet. Five reasons why you would want to start jujitsu, but as far as reasons why you don't want to start jujitsu, reasons not to start jujitsu, the list is very short, and for the most part, the benefits are gonna outweigh the costs. Thanks for watching, guys. Drop a like, hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna keep making videos like this and shoot ideas to me. Tell me what you want to know about jiu-jitsu and I'll be happy to answer your questions at least from my perspective. Peace.